hey ninjas welcome or welcome back to my channel my name is hawa bunga today we're going to be doing the super easy beginner friendly passion twist if you want to know how to get this look just keep on watching okay guys we are going to need rubber bands oil any oil of your choice um i'll show you why in a minute um some hair ties edge control a edge brush and comb hair i use water wave hair super affordable i got mine from amazon i will link it below and some mousse Go i put my rubber bands inside of oil um i do this so that it protects my your hair when you're wrapping the rubber bands around your hair I do start off by parting my hair in sections based on how big I want them. I like mine kind of juicy, so I did mine pretty juicy. Um, so yeah. I'm taking edge control and putting that all over the roots and all over um, my hair. I twist my hair halfway down and then I add a rubber band to the root just to keep um, the parts separated. My hair is not dirty y'all. My hair is a freshly washed. You want to start this on freshly washed hair. If you see little particles in my hair, I just have really dry scalp. If anyone have a recommend on how I get my dry scalp not dry anymore, please let me know. <laughs> I do mine very loose. Um, I don't want to pull at my edges and pull out my hair. So I do them loose, but you can do what you please. Now that my hair is all parted in section, we're gonna go ahead and get started with the twist. So I have two methods. The first one, you can take the rubber bands off if you do not want the rubber bands to be in your hair because you know sometimes rubber bands aren't good for your hair. You can take it off and then just start your hair off in a loose twist. Just start twisting your hair um, loosely And then you want to take the hair and I have 18 inch hair, um, but I wanted to make it longer. So I kind of made the hair uneven so that it can twist longer. So here I'm, I just basically um, put the hair around, around the root of my hair. Um, I pulled through my, my natural hair and then I started a braid, just like a regular braid, like you would start any, like any type of box braids. And then once I got a little, um, a few inches down, I just pulled my hair, my real hair into the twist and start twisting. It's kind of hard to explain. It's easier just to watch it. <laughs> it's super easy. If you know how to do a braid, you'll know how to do this. Then I take some edge control and I rub it down the twist. Um, that helps get rid of, you know, any flyaways. And what I love about Passion Twist is you don't have to dip it or anything. I just take a little bit of edge control, twirl it on the ends, and that's it. So 
So for the second method, you can basically you leave the rubber band on your hair and do the same exact thing, but you're just leaving the rubber band. Um, I feel like this way is much easier and neater, um, especially for beginners. And then y'all, I'm just gonna go in with some of the edge control and my edge brush and my edge brush and slick down these edge edges and style them the way you wanna style them. Then guys, you just, after you do your edges, you wanna put some mousse in your hair. This is going to slick your hair, make it shiny, get rid of all the flyaways. If your roots are bushy like mine were, because I did them so loose and my hair is thick, um, this will literally make it look shiny and tight, even though it's not tight. And then I put a head scarf on for a few minutes and boom, bow. watching i'll see you in my next video bye